Hi, this is Jim Blassingame, the Small Business Advocate. And if you'll give me three minutes of your time, I'll help you have the maximum opportunity to be successful in your small business. Now let's talk about a special day for small business owners. Some say labor leader Matthew McGuire is the father of Labor Day. Others say it was Peter McGuire, no relation. Both cared greatly for an important segment of the marketplace, its workers. Regardless of paternity, such a day was first celebrated on Tuesday, September 5th, 1882 in New York City when members of the Central Labor Union took an unpaid day off to demonstrate solidarity and, of course, have picnics. In 1884, President Cleveland designated the first Monday in September as Labor Day and made it an official federal holiday. In 1898, Samuel Gompers, then head of the American Federation of Labor, called Labor Day the day when toilers, rights, and wrongs would be discussed, that workers may lay down their tools for a holiday and touch shoulders in marching phalanx and feel the stronger for it. Alas, entrepreneurs aren't organized like unions, probably because we're too busy making payroll. There's no official small business day set aside by the government as a holiday to salute those few who do so much for so many. A day to honor the real marketplace heroes, small business owners. There actually is a small business week when the U.S. Small Business Administration recognizes the creme de la creme of entrepreneurs in America. But it's not a federal holiday, and it's not always the same week each year. Labor Day was created primarily to recognize union members. Today, this group represents barely 11% of total workers and has declined to less than 7% of the private sector. Small businesses represent over 98% of all U.S. businesses, produce over half of U.S. gross domestic product, and sign the front of the paychecks of over half of all U.S. workers, 70 million. Let's see. Big deal on Labor Day? but no small business day. What's wrong with this picture? So, what's the answer? Let's celebrate small business day as no other national holiday has ever been. On a Sunday, to save payroll expense. August is the month of choice because that's when politicians are home on recess. This way they can practice casting their pearls before small business owners in preparation for eating barbecue with the unions on Labor Day. To paraphrase Samuel Gompers, small business owners deserve a day which these signers of the front of paychecks have their rights and wrongs discussed, that the small employers of our day may not only lay down their challenges for a holiday, but also touch shoulders in marching phalanx and feel the stronger for it. Write this on a rock. It's time for a national Small Business Owners Day. This is Jim Blassingame. I'll see you on the radio or on the internet at smallbusinessadvocate.com.